And after that last video, it began to rain. Pretty torrential. Uh, however, I kind of have a little more understanding of uh, the, uh, the message I just made um, here Sunday, April 7th. 2019 it's almost like wisdom you know again it's almost like it's like a for some reason I'm like comparing the, the wisdom as to uh, from whence the the children come like like this granddaughter thing uh, you know but it's almost like it's like David King David he had an understanding of who his Lord was and uh, you know, even those wives that be of Solomon that might have been misleading him or guiding him away from the truth and the the father that that uh, uh, that his father served. You know, he, he, it's almost like the 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 purity of the heart of God would be reflected in the purity of the heart of David. That as he comes to guide and direct his son to almost like circumcise him from the flesh that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Like the false prophets of women. Uh, he can see it because he has walked with God his whole life. Though he be tempted by satan he knew when he needed to repent to come back before god and get right with god and live according to the statutes and precepts of god so david was very wise in that regard even though he wasn't a perfect man he continued uh to seek god and not to turn uh from his uh his ways because he desired to dwell in the house of the lord forever and so interestingly uh like this this first son that David had with Bathsheba God required it and it's almost like you know like the blood of that son was as a covering for David's sin and then uh, you know David uh, lived out the rest of his life there and there was a lot of uh, wicked and evil that were exposed within his family and things came forth but he uh you know, he continued to live out his life. He followed God's instruction even when God asked him not to build the temple. He allowed his son to follow after him to build the temple. And I just have this, this interesting thought, like like uh, that same blood that once covered David, you know, it would come again and cover the world. And so it's like the root and the offspring of David, you know, it was required because of David's sin, the sin of the world. You know, I'm not necessarily sure that David's sin was the sin of the world, but, you know, he had been blessed by God and given many things and uh, just really put in a, in a place by God like a rich man. Uh, but he killed the poor man's daughter lamb. So, you know, pray about it and uh, seek out the Lord. But, you know, it's almost like this, um, this blood of the lamb uh, Jesus had uh, was called the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He was recognized by John the Baptist, and uh, you know he put that he put that uh, Lamb of God into the waters of baptism, and then he came forth. A uh, spirit of a dove landed upon Jesus. So uh, you know the Lamb of God part of God's plan and there's this lamb's book of life and it's almost to me it's almost like you have to uh, recognize that you need to receive Jesus as the lamb of God to take away the sin of the world but also repent as David repented for that sin that that may have killed the future uh, the future generations if that makes sense like the granddaughter Just repent and call out mercy. Uh, God would raise them up, you know, on the last day. You know, what if we didn't? What if we didn't guide and direct our children in the way that they should go? And part of their fate was on our hands that we 
we weren't better uh, teachers unto our children. Um, we weren't good examples unto our children, and and they went in the footsteps that we would go. But because of God's mercy, He may allow us to be covered by the Lamb of God, that we could come forth and begin to speak His truth and guide and direct people in His ways according to the, the commandments of God. You know, love one another as yourself. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength. and all your ways, acknowledge Him. Allow Him to direct your paths. All right, God bless you in Jesus' name.